Hello, and welcome to the JetBrains YouTube channel. In this video, we'll continue exploring the enhancements introduced in the ongoing PHP Storm Early Access program. In earlier versions of PHP Storm, when you renamed a variable, all of its occurrences were considered, both inside and outside of loops or catch blocks. PHP Storm would then rename the variable everywhere throughout the scope. The reason for this is that in PHP, these variables do not have an isolated scope. PHP Storm 2021.1 introduces a synthetic scope for these blocks, and the rename refactoring can include the variables either only from this scope or from the entire visible scope. Many content management systems and frameworks allow for you to specify a database table prefix to separate tables between different apps. In previous versions, if you used a prefix marker in an injected SQL query, PHP Storm could not provide proper database integration. With PHP Storm 2021.1, you can specify prefixes in the PHP Storm meta PHP file, add the SQL injection substmap directive, and provide the pattern and replacement pairs. The values will be substituted on the fly and PHP Storm will link SQL queries to data sources and provide full coding assistance. Each PHP Storm release brings new inspections, quick fixes, and intention actions. In this release, when analyzing your code, PHP Storm will consider extensions specified in both require and suggest sections of Composer JSON. When an extension is registered in Composer JSON, as suggested, but not checked via extension loaded, or function exists, PHP Storm will highlight the usage and let you move the extension to the require section. If the declared type does not match the type of a value, you can quickly update the type using Alt Enter. Before PHP 8.0, it was common to add a variable assignment in a function call to mimic the actual name of a parameter. Starting with PHP 8.0, this hinting variable can be replaced with a named argument, and PHP Storm provides a quick fix for that. Checks using the isit function are only effective for arrays and variables. In all other cases, it makes more sense to use null checks instead, so you can use the provided quick fix to add them. PHP Storm will also highlight ternary expressions using isit and let you switch to simpler expressions using the null coalescing operator. PHP Storm will now detect if or else blocks that contain duplicated code and offer quick fixes for extracting common parts, removing unneeded branches, or merging conditions together. Consider the following private method in a class. It's called in other methods, but the result is neither assigned nor reused in any way. For such methods, it may make sense to declare their return type void explicitly to make the code clearer. PHP Storm now recognizes the new line delimited JSON lines format, where each new line is a JSON object. You can configure the file types for this new format in the Preferences, Editor, File Types. Lastly, when creating a commit message, PHP Storm will take into account a git commit template if it's specified in the commit template option of your git configuration. This sums up all the new features available in the latest EAP build of PHP Storm. Stay tuned for more updates and thanks for watching.